the last four remaining Pac-12 schools, they all have a decision to make. They have been meeting together. Some of those meetings without George Kliakoff. Where will the Cardinal end up? Welcome to episode 291 of College Football's Peek Around the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar. We cover everything in college football because we love everything in college football. And if you do as well, please subscribe to our ever-growing channel. Smash that like button if you like our content. Share the video with your family and friends. Let's not waste any more time. The great Ross Gellinger, Yahoo Sports, just put out an article. Where do the Pac-12's remaining four end up? After the latest conference realignment shakeup, we provide a link in the description. You can read the whole article. Please put down your comments in the comments section below the video. Where do you think this is all going to end up for those four remaining Pac-12 universities? For decades now, Stanford has served as a beacon for college athletics. Other departments envy the success, the academic prowess, and the endowment. $36 billion. Dollars. Cardinal athletic programs have won 134 NCAA championships. Holy smokes. The most of any school, and it has claimed the NACDA Directors Cup as the nation's most successful AD department in 26 of 29 years. They have claimed the NACDA Directors Cup as the nation's most successful college athletic department in 26 of 29 years unbelievable incredible success for the stanford cardinal not to be outdone the university ac academically ranks number three in america and yet despite those lofty accomplishments and dazzling numbers and they are dazzling the school is homeless a rudderless ship adrift in the ocean of change that is college athletics, the victim of a money-grabbing exodus from its neighbors. How does Stanford get left out? Asked one college administrator. Stanford? Such is the current terrain of the industry's landscape, where one singular sport, football, is the motivation of seismic, seismic shifts. Despite fielding the most successful group of 38 varsity athletic teams in the country, Stanford has transformed from the Olympic sports king to a walking wanderer. The school has been sent begging to the ACC, the Big 12, and the Big 10, where it has offered to enter for an incredibly reduced rate. Wow. A week after the Pac-12... Lost five teams to the Big Ten and Big 12. The conference future, if there is any, may be in the hands of the Cardinal. The other remaining Pac-12 teams, California, Oregon State, Washington State, twist in the wind. Their future is potentially contingent on a decision from a 132-year-old university, the Cardinal. While an array of options have been discussed during gatherings, with leaders of the Pac-12 remaining members, most of them without Commissioner George Kliakoff present. Hmm. Stanford's decision is at the center of an answering vexing question. Where do the four schools go from here? Rebuilding the Pac-12, the presidents of the Pac-12 Four have held several calls over the last week. One as recently as Thursday, yesterday. Thursday call comes hours after the ACC presidents in a straw poll Wednesday night voted against expanding to add Stanford, California, and SMU. As of Friday morning, this morning, ACC presidents had not officially ended expansion discussions over adding two or three of the schools, but the measure is receiving pushback from at least four schools and perhaps more and it is probably more the league needs 12 of the 15 votes to expand Notre Dame receives a vote and is in support of expansion of the matter the decision or no decision from the ACC provides clarity and moves forward a potential decision from the biggest brand of the remaining four Pac-12 schools if the Pac-12 is to rebuild itself which some believe is a long shot, as we do here at Peek Around the Corner, 
It needs Stanford support. Is the Cardinal in rebuilding the Pac-12 or is it out becoming an independent? If it's in, if the Cardinal is in, restructuring the Pac-12 begins in earnest. Time is precious. The four schools have scheduled six games next football season, three non-conference games and three against themselves. Reforming the Pac-12, while difficult, is not impossible. It's premature to say the conference is dead, says one person with first-hand knowledge of the situation. The NCAA requires FBS leagues to have eight members to play football. Remember that number, eight. Eight members to play football. The quickest and maybe easiest route in reforming is to acquire the most Western schools in the American Athletic Conference, such as SMU, UTSA, North Texas, Rice, Tulane, and potentially Sunbelt's Texas State. To leave, these schools would owe an exit fee as they are well past the 27-month notice that the AAC requires. While the exit fee is negotiable with conference leaders, schools have previously left for 10 to $17 million, but the cost should be significantly higher since the schools would be given notice inside of a year and they will, it will be, the exit fee will be higher than 10 to $17 million. The Mountain West exit fee, $34 million, is what is preventing the four Pac-12 teams from prying its members from the league. At least in time for the 2024 season, adding any Mountain West school for the 2025 season costs $17 million. Rebuilding the Pac-12 is fraught with problems. Most notably is the attractiveness of joining the four schools that do not have a television right deal and have a commissioner who is unlikely to continue in the long term. Pac-12 is also saddled with legal and other challenges, including the National Labor Relations Board employment claim, lawsuits from the Holiday Bowl, and two former employees, more than $50 million owed to Comcast for an accounting error, and the dead weight of the Pac-12 network. Now, we're going to skip the rest of that Pac-12 option, rebuilding the Pac-12. You can read the whole article. The link is provided. We consider the rebuilding of the Pac-12 an extreme long shot. It's not going to happen. That's what we believe at Peak Around the Corner. So we're going to the next option in the article. Joining or merging with the Mountain West. The Mountain West presidents met on Monday night to explore their options. The league has granted Commissioner Gloria Navarra's permission to communicate with the Pac-12 4 as well as any discussions with the Mountain West TV partners, CBS and Fox, about potential expansion. The more simple option is for the four or three to join the Mountain West, Oregon State, Washington State, with the two of the lowest resource Power 5 teams anyhow. From a resource and geographic and cultural perspective, they fit well into the conference. Cal, two, maybe. However, Stanford, again, is different. Would the school join as a full-time member? Many believe it would not. But desperate times calls for desperate measures. However, some of the Mountain West Conference would be receptive to offering the school a home for its Olympic sports if it chooses football independence. And that is the PATC money shot of this article. The Mountain West would be receptive for Stanford to bring all their great Olympic sports teams into the Mountain West Conference if Stanford decides to play football as an independent. That is big, 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 big news. We'll go down to the next option, joining the AAC. The AAC has been in contact, like the Mountain West with the Pac-12-4. Communication while in the early stages is ongoing. Geographically, culturally, such a move makes little sense. Nothing makes sense in the world of conference realignment. Oregon will soon play a conference game at Rutgers. Arizona will play a conference game at UCF. Why can't Washington State play Florida Atlantic? The mileage between those two is 3,000 miles, by the way. The AAC's interest in the Pacific teams is curious. 
and it's unclear if there is an agreement from all the league schools in such an endeavor, but it does make sense in this competitive environment. The addition of the four or three of the the addition of the four or three of the four or even two of the four gives the conference a greater chance to land a college football playoff berth in expanded playoff, where the top group of five champion gets an automatic berth. The acquisition does something else. It keeps the four from joining a rival G5 league. To go on the offense is the best defense for the AAC as they attempt to grab those four schools. Now, we're going to get down to the end here. With the AAC, you get more money and exposure, says one group of five administrator. It has a better TV deals and the windows. So the AAC has the advantage of the Mountain West when it comes to a better TVD and windows. The Mountain West annual payout is more like $6 million, though that's a number that could soon change. The league will soon enter negotiations for a TV deal that expires in 2026. The additions of the former five Power 5 teams could immediately or at least eventually enhance the payout. The biggest advantage of the Mountain West is its schools' locations. From a geographic and cultural standpoint, it makes the most sense, says the administrator. And so, as the realignment clock ticks, all eyes are focused on the Pac-12's remaining schools, which, as sad as it is, includes the most successful athletic department in the history of college sports. And that is... Stanford, the Cardinal, the most successful athletic department in the history of college sports, winning the Directors' Cup 26 of the 29 years. Holy smokes. And they are homeless as of this morning, Friday, August 11th. Where do you think these four schools are going to end up? Do you think they're all going to end up in the same place? Do you believe the Mountain West School offering Stanford the ability to bring all their Olympic teams into the conference? If you want to stay independent in football, that is your choice. You want to bring the football into our conference? Great. That's great. The Mountain West is being highly flexible, highly flexible. But the AAC offers these four Pac-12 schools more money up front and better TV exposure, better TV windows What decision do you think Stanford and California and Oregon State and Washington State are going to ultimately make? What decision? Where are these four schools going to go? Put down your comments, your predictions in the comments section below the video. We're going to stay strong with our prediction here at Peek Around the Corner. As crazy as it sounds when we said it last week, we believe Stanford, California, Washington State, and Oregon State are going to end up in the Mountain West. The idea that Stanford could remain football independent and bring their schools, their rest of the Olympic sports, into the Mountain West sounds very intriguing. We believe that Fox and CBS will make it right for the Mountain West schools and for those four Pac-12 schools. If they come in now, they'll elevate the payout for all the schools in the conference. So we believe it's going to be in the Mountain West. But we, we shall see what happens. Again, put down in the comments section. Tell us how wrong we got it here at Peek Around the Corner. Until next time, from all of us, as we wait for the Cardinals' decision Stanford, the Cardinal, we wait for the decision until next time. From all of us at Peek Around the Corner, to all of you, please, please, you all take great care of each other. Thank you so very much.